Hello, my loved ones, and welcome back to the Soulmate Journey Empath. This is going to be a Venus transit reading. And so this is happening because Venus is leaving the sign of Libra and transiting or entering the sign of Scorpio on Tuesday, October 8th. And uh, because there is such a difference between Libra energy and Scorpio energy, this is going to be a significant shift. So rather than being designed for your sun, moon, or rising sign, this reading is designed for your Venus placement. So if your Venus is in Capricorn, this reading is for you. If not, please do check your Venus placement and you can view the other readings that have been uploaded for the appropriate Venus sign for you. So we're going to pick up on overall energies and see how things are going to play out during this shift using the Wild Unknown Tarot. And we'll be getting an Oracle message from the Journey of Love Oracle deck to help you and provide guidance and perspective during this significant energy shift. All right, so first things first, at the bottom of the deck, we have five of swords energy. This is air energy. This is a lot of conflict, feeling that there has been a lot of conflict and you're not sure if it's worth continuing the fight or if you just want to lay down the burden and walk away. So that's the overall energy. Let's see what's coming in for Venus and Capricorn during this Venus transit. What's coming in for Venus and Capricorn? All right. Let's get four more. Oh, your energy is coming out here, Capricorn. And two more for Venus and Capricorn, please. There we go. All right. So, wow, we do have a very positive shift um, starting with difficult energy and going into something far, far more positive. So having this five of swords in the overall energy denotes there being some kind of mutual conflict back and forth, like tit for tat. And with this two of swords energy, again, air energy, um, there's like this sense of deadlock, but you know, the important part to remember about this two of swords energy is that there is something that you're not seeing that can move you past this gridlock, this deadlock, this stagnant energy and fives are difficult. Fives are, um, stagnation causing change. Okay. So fives are that change and they are uncomfortable, but there's something that you're not seeing here. And here we have the Hierophant coming in Taurus energy, major arcana number five. So here we have another five. Here's that change, that lightning. Um, this is kind of divine intervention here that is shaking up this energy because something needed to change. And there's message, there's perspective coming in. Also, the Hierophant is a card of leveling up. Maybe leveling up from this conflict, leveling up from engaging in this petty back and forth with someone or something else. And next out we have the three of wands energy this is fire energy so threes are collaborative numbers threes are collaborative numbers and look at how 
beautiful. Look at the portal that's created when these three come together. They can collaborate something and create this beautiful, colorful portal. But we have Capricorn energy here. We have the devil energy, number 15, one in five, um, add to six in numerology. And your uh, Capricorn has a tendency to want to take leadership as it being a cardinal sign. And there's a fine line between leadership and control. And what I'm really seeing playing out in this situation has been like this epic power struggle between two very stubborn forces. And it may be natural when there's conflict, if you have this Venus and Capricorn to want to try to step in and take control of the situation to restore balance with that six. But there's this clear message here with these threes, because next out we have the three of cups water energy and again this is about collaboration and um look how how uh really stark those swords cards are there isn't very much color look at the integration of color in these collaborative energy cards So really what I am seeing you be asked to do um, in order to turn this wheel of fortune to learn your karmic lesson so that things can go up again is to embrace this collaborative energy with these threes, with the three of wands, with the three of cups. Let's go ahead and clarify. Why is the devil card here, please? Why is the devil card here? Okay, we have Knight of Pentacles energy. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is slow moving energy. And again, like I, I'm getting a lot of stubbornness um, with whoever you're involved with, um, you may be dealing with a solar Capricorn or a lunar Capricorn, um, sun or moon Capricorn with this devil energy and the Knight of Pentacles. But the Hierophant is also a very stubborn energy too. Um, and resisting the flow of things okay the wheel of fortune is all about surrendering to flow not trying to exercise too much control with this devil energy so let's go ahead and get an oracle message from the journey of love and see how you can best navigate this energy shift. All right. And there it is. I did it. <laughs> wow. Didn't even get to it. So I have for you number 20, Sweet Soul Rising. This is the judgment card in this Oracle deck. And this is about using your better judgment, being your highest self. And having that come in, in contrast to this devil energy is I think really this Venus transit is going to cause you to question um, what reactions, what emotions, what attitudes in your life are of a lower frequency that hold you back and what are of a higher frequency that elevates you. This is an ascension. And whatever is holding you back from being able to uh, collaborate with others, you know, um, collaboration is really going to be the key to you feeling this transform into a positive energy shift and really feel like the wheel is turning again 
in your favor. All right. So I hope that those messages resonated with you. If they did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in additional content, please follow me on Instagram. I do post additional content there. That information is in the description box below. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, my Etsy store, Soulmate Journey Reads, the contact information is also in the description box below. So take care, my Venus and Capricorn loved ones. And until next time, I'm sending you lots and lots of love and light. Bye-bye.